Hello, and welcome to MIT. My name is Azrak Shamia, and I'm an artist and associate professor in Art Culture Technology Program, where I direct the Future Heritage Lab. My work intersects art, architecture, and historic preservation, and offers creative and critical responses to conflict and crisis. Here you see two images from my work dealing with politics of representation of Muslim minority groups in non-Muslim majority societies like US and Europe. My wearable mosques, for example, deconstruct essentialist idea of national or religious identity to signal that our identities are individual, multi-layered, and in constant flux. The suit transforms into a mini mosque for two people, representing both the secular and non-binary gender identity of a person with our needs. In my work, I also try to deconstruct cultural biases by connecting people on human scale. For example, these Leatherman's jackets um, that are made of fabrics from countries that are at war with each other, like the United States and other uh, Middle Eastern countries, uh, literally can connect uh, people uh, on their bellies. But the West also connect people through storytelling, both in performative events and also through stories that are woven into the fabrics uh, based on related textile traditions and uh, individual history. By sharing stories from contested cultural territories, people might discover not just what divides them, but also what they have in common. Another area of my work explores politics of cultural memory, questioning the way in which technologies are used to address uh, cultural uh, destruction at war time. Here you see a giant temporary monument depicting fragmented images of the famous Palmyra Arch, which was destroyed by ISIS in 2015. This piece called the Memory Matrix was created together with my students at MIT, along with uh, 700 other participants in Jordan, Palestine, and Egypt. And um, the piece consists of 20,000 little pixels, plastic chains, uh, keychains, which were designed by project participants to uh, express uh, and depict monuments that were destroyed during their uh, lifetime. By sharing stories about monuments they lost, Global participants are relating their cultural loss to the human suffering of Syrian refugees. For more than five years, my lab has been collaborating with Syrian refugees in two refugee camps in Jordan. We have been studying jointly how art and design offer powerful tools to create a life worth living in contexts that are deprived of humanity. This research will be published in our upcoming book, Design to Live, Everyday Inventions from a Refugee Camp, and it's also used as a textbook for our online courses offered in English and Arabic. I would also uh, like to conclude the, with the theme of the day only at MIT. While we have not been physically working at MIT for more than a year now, the pandemic has brought not just challenges, but also uh, it's brought new social bonds across the MIT community. Almost exactly a year ago, I initiated this project, uh, Call Mask, uh, calling our community to kiss and smile at a safe distance. Thanks to our global collaborators from MIT, my sewing instructions went viral and global and were translated into 25 languages. The mask has been also approved by the Jordanian internal ministry and more than 40,000 of these masks are being produced uh, for and by Syrian refugees uh, in the camps to protect them from COVID. At MIT, we create these masks to share stories of how the pandemic has affected both our personal lives and collective bodies. From finding comfort in home-cooked foods like tacos, uh, to emotional challenges while being in isolation, to seeking new forms of agency in the time of social injustice, systemic racism, and environmental crisis that connect us all as humans. We look forward to welcoming you at MIT to engage in these critical discussions and to create a better future. <laughs>